the 2022 Olympics. The women's hockey team faced off against their longtime rivals Canada last night for a gold medal. Our reporter Marilana Belores is live in Beijing now to tell us who came out on top. Good morning. Hi, Lena. <laughs> We're so happy to see Hi, you. Hi, guys. <laughs> we want to chat. It's so good to hear your voices. <laughs> it's great yes, to see your face. How'd the hockey would... team do? We got the delay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's so good to hear your voices. Wanted to come and say, hey, unfortunately, the hockey team was not able to bring home the gold here in Beijing, Canada. Just too tough of an opponent. Outscored them 3-2. to two. We thought the U.S. might have a moment at the end. They scored a goal, but with only 13 seconds left in the game, there just really was not much they could do. So they are taking home the silver. They won gold back in 2018. Would have been the first team to get two back-to-back -back golds, but... No such luck for our USA hockey team. I know everyone was bummed watching that play out. I know that kind of hurt my heart a little bit there. Yeah. All right, but we do know the men's curling team is still in the running for a medal. They're set to compete in the semifinals this morning. So, Lena, what can we expect in that game? Yeah, you know, this team has just had, I feel like they have nine lives. They always seem to find a way to make it. They are taking on Great Britain, and then they'll, that will determine if they're playing for gold or if they're playing for bronze. So Team Schuster, Matt Hamilton, they're a solid team. These guys are so fun to watch. I know everyone loves curling when the Olympics roll around, so hopefully we can see them play for gold again here in Beijing. And can we squeeze in Michaela Schifrin? She's back for her last competition in the 2022 Games. How's she doing? Oh, Don, it did not go well for her today, unfortunately. This was the women combined event, so there was the downhill, and she did well in that one. She finished fifth. She had a really good time, but when it came for the slalom, she did not finish the event. She skied out. This is the same event that she skied out the first time we saw her here in Beijing. So there's obviously some mental block that she's facing. You just, your heart breaks for her because she's so good. She's so talented, but things have just not gone her way here. So it's, it's been a tough time for Michaela Schifrin, but she seems like she's doing okay right now. We're still cheering for her. We know that she's done, but to even get to the Olympics, what an accomplishment. And we know that she still has a great career ahead. And Lena, it's so great to see you. We're so happy to have you on this and morning. And we know you're working so hard out there. We appreciate all your efforts. <laughs> It's so good to talk to you guys. I'll see you back home soon. All right, we'll talk to you soon, Lena. Thank you. And, of course, we'll have more live shots of the 2022 Winter Olympic Games with 10 on your side's Maria Elena Valores tonight. Tune into Wavy News 10 starting at 6 p.m. Our time, 6.08 and coming up.